Let's freaking do this. All right, buff debuffer. Um, it's gonna make builds like rage and stuff be a little bit less effective. Uh, thorns is gonna be less effective as well. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Vent is a, a good card to start with. I can't complain about it. It'll also make some events a lot easier. It'll deal with haste later. Mm, enhance with plus four damage and apply spikes is usually a pretty good card. This is like the beautiful matchup. We got Awoken as our secondary. So we can't complain. And then Imp Scholar, return a random consume card. You guys saw the powers of this card last build. You guys saw the power of um of like being able to return consumed cards into your hand like the spikes that hellhorn units have is like pretty insane and the spikes that uh awoken have are really crazy too so there's this guy could come into like really good work later all right we have a double unit start no money um but if we do go the unit route we're gonna get a Maybe we get like an early um, hollow unit and it works out beautifully. That's usually a nice start. And then we go right into the buff. There could be like an animus here or something. Animus we could possibly make work as well. Um, this probably looks like a good start. Going this way also works. We can get another Hellhorn. Probably not an early tank though. And going Hellhorn this early is questionable. Like it might be like a Demon Fiend or something. Um, we do get the buff the vents and stuff, but this might be a better call i'm not really sure buffing the vents pretty early also seems like a good call mm. an early hell vent we're playing with double bombs so we're definitely gonna want some ping it's just insane because like if we do take a hollowed unit it's like not something that we would want a hell vent but if we go this way and we get like an early holdover, that could be something that we want to hell vent. So I don't know. It's like always hard to tell with a start like this. Like I don't actually know what's the better play. We do have the amp that pulls consumed cards back, so I don't know if that gives less value to wings clipping. Sap tap seems really awesome. Um, it's just extra card draw. It's just really nice. You get to put a heal. Like we end up putting a heal on um, our Awoken units and stuff like that, and we can draw cards at the same time. So that's like really good. I appreciate that we can have a meaningful discussion without people getting heated. Yeah, that's really important here. I mean, we have a lot of game discussions and we look into a lot of games. So like discussions are gonna happen no matter what. <laughs> Cleanse debuff remover. I'm gonna take sap tap. I don't know if I like Wrathful that much. I think it has its situations. I have no idea, dude. Like, in the first battle, in the first battle, it definitely helps. If we build into rage and stuff, I don't know. We also have the buff card from Awoken. Hmm. All right, so we did get Mark in the Invasion. We do have a couple event cards, so I want to say we're okay. 15 damage on the top floor. We wouldn't be able to put him pretty much anywhere unless we have a tank. Um... 75 gold we're going to want because we're going to be buffing like an early unit, I believe. If it's an offensive unit, then we could possibly hell vent it. It could be really good. Where's the unit draft? I think we want some money. It's fine. Um, We also have ping and stuff. I think we should be okay. If we draw a vent, we're just golden, right? We 
We got a vent. We're feeling really good now. So we're gonna ping somebody on this row, make it easier, just in case we don't get what we need. I don't wanna draw the other vent. If I heal, there's a chance that we draw it. The chances are not looking good that we draw it though, right? There's no way, dude. But then that would use all of our mana. Whatever we draw, we're like not gonna be able to play. So we don't draw. They're also gonna hit for less now, so it's easier to tank if we need to. With a train steward. Oh man, I really wanna ping that, so we do this. Should just get him out of the deck. We don't have a card with consume anyway. That's fine. We took one damage. There's the other vent. Um, sharpen with spikes. He's gonna get this kill here, and he's gonna get invulnerability because of it. That's pretty annoying. Unless we buff this guy, then we can't play vent. Mm -hmm. He gets healed for five, but buffing this guy seems like a big deal. Eight extra damage for the next one. We also don't get to kill this back line. We'll get some pings next turn. I think that'll work. That's fine. Sometimes you take early chip for going for the early trial. We also have to make sure this guy doesn't die. If he dies, we don't do any damage. So we can't scale then. Applying 99 frost feels great. What up, Fatal? Are combat units each round predictable or are they random? When at the beginning of a fight, they kind of tell you like what you can expect. Fortify will give us some insurance for sweep. This is going to be for our upcoming, um, I like both of these. This one we can actually get back because of our imp, which I really like. This will give us some front load damage if we get a hollowed unit. I think that's what we're going for right now. This is also sweep insurance. I think we need some front load. We can't even take more chip damage. That could be like a nice card with with, um, with a hollow. I think that's what we're looking for now. I gotta remember to look at the upgrades first. 
I always forget to look at the upgrades. Animus of Will is interesting because we are about to go to a forge. She's definitely going to get some upgrades. As soon as she gets like a 10 damage up, she's hitting for 30 with multi-strike. If I go left, we could just throw her down and she gets the job done. We do have sharpens. We just don't have tanks. This doesn't solve the tank issue. This could possibly help. All right. We might look for a Hellhorn tank, I guess, which could be, be totally okay. Yep, they'll fill the same role. Kind of. <laughs> I guess we're going for a Hellhorn unit, so we're hoping for like a, a rail beater. We're hoping for a rail beater, I think. With rail beater? The multi-strike might be better if we get roll beater, rail beater, but it could also be just fine with our, uh, with our champion. Alright, we'll try Animus. Endless, interesting. 25 health is really important. 25 health gives her insurance from sweep and all those nonsense. We can also use her to tank early in the game. Um, 10 damage up is sweet. Endless? <laughs> we know what Endless on Impish Scholar can do later. We could set it up now. Right now it'll be kind of a dead card, but we know the power of it later. The power of it later is... The spike cards become godlike. Or just consume cards in general. Spike is awesome. Armor is awesome. Impid box can be good. This is what I really want. Oh, I can just type consume in the search field. It's a lot of money, but it <laughs> could be good. If we don't find anything, then we're just high rolling. But it also opens us up for cool in play. This might be really gritty. I've never like preemptively done that before, but we're guaranteed to find some consume cards. And now we have uh, some kind of tank. All right, fine. Whatever. We can always do double animus as well if we go to the hell vent. We'll see. All right, we're dealing with haste, which is going to be pretty interesting. Giving her 11. Hmm. 
this is a rough one. Because if we can't ping her, everyone's going to be hasting to the top. And then what? They're going to have 11 HP each. So we're going to kill one target, kill another target. We kill two targets. There's still going to be two going up. We'll definitely take some chip damage. We'll definitely take some chip damage. Putting both of these on the tank. Actually, what does one of these do? One of these... We'll hit for 20. It's not enough. Once we buff him twice, he could rip through people. But one buff is not going to be enough. Uh, we could possibly potentially take... I don't know. I want to say around... I think we, we like we could potentially take like nine damage i want to say going into this nine damage for a unit nine damage to death somewhere around there could be very scary plus the next one that's gonna ace yeah i don't think we can do it if we had some piercing maybe if i can guarantee put two buffs on him we don't care that they're getting rushed down but until then we just get bodied yeah, it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I would kill for a hollowed unit, but this is gonna get us killed. Great. And top got shrunk. I'm gonna try to high roll here. Why am I so tiny? Did I high roll? Or did I high roll? I'm gonna high roll here. We got a two out of 20 chance. It's better this size. What up, Tasteless? We do have a ping. Uh-oh. All right, what wins? Greed? Or preventing haste? <laughs> this is a moral choice. All right, let me, let me think about it. Actually, we've ripped through people, right? Uh, this is gonna be three, six, 11, 12. We attack one first. Nine. Nine damage to the front target, and then we kill two of them, so one damage gets through without a ping. I think that's fine. I think we greed. And we get buffed in the meantime. I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think I'm okay with that greed. Impish! Impish! And we get to ping one, so they all die. I don't know if I want him next turn. I don't. Can you imagine now we don't get the ping? That'd be fun. took any damage right if we took if we took the 10 armor one we would have probably got slapped we would have definitely got slapped i like to send more than us send but in this case it's 
so like essentially like if we take a send wherever the hollow unit is the hollow tank he would have to be above where we're building with the rest of our like attackers essentially like i always like to send more than a send i think that's why the descends are more expensive i could be wrong <laughs> and because you're going like towards the pyre and not away from the pyre in general fledgling imp if i had like a tail start i would uh horn break is really good we're also dealing with um daedalus's double damage attack double damage bombs which is very scary so it's good to have more piercing um and buffing this is like usually pretty good i don't think i'm gonna rock with the send i don't think i'm gonna rock with the send um i think we take piercing but we're definitely gonna have to buff it mm. this way it looks fine to me i think yeah what else do I need to buff right now? I have two vents that currently need to be buffed. I have two vents currently. Put some mana downs here. That's about it. This becomes really good later too. Not sure. Glimmer is really good. We have two vents though, so it's less good. We have two vents, so I think Glimmer's the wrong call here, unfortunately. But being able to shuffle units around is good. I usually like that a lot. Well, we better hope we don't die to the boss. This could help us. It's usually really good. Apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. So it's going to allow our top floor to attack twice. And take double the damage, I guess. I like this one a lot. It's coming in a lot of, like, comes in very handy. You lose five damage, but, like, you can leave things that need chip damage to go up to the pyre, which is really cool. With quick, it's pretty interesting because our quick can get one extra attack before the enemy even attacks. So we're going to be doing, like, 60 damage to the person. They get to attack us once, and we do double to them. This one just lets them go up. We're rocking multi-strike as well. Yeah, I like... I like both. I also don't know, like, if we're always going to be rocking top floor or not. And you need to be, like, rocking top floor to do this. I'm gonna go with Vapor. Oh, great. <sighs> Not what I was hoping for. And another Squishy. I'm gonna regret taking him if I take it. Uh, do we get another unit choice? No, I think we're going here. Merchant of Steel after that. So we're not, oh God.
Uh, Alpha Fiend is just not the pick. And I don't know what I'm going to do with another squishy unit, like a Horn Warrior. It's still something. We could throw, like, units in front of him for now. Like, we can make him work, I guess. Or we can take 10 bucks. Are we going to be okay against the boss, though? Like, do we have enough damage to deal with the boss? I don't think so. I don't think we scale enough to do, deal with the boss. You always get this when you're not ready to have it. Well, at the very least, we have another Animus of Speed. If we took this first, we didn't have to find a Horned Warrior. We could have a little, another Impish. If we started with better Consumes, this would be an awesome pick. We didn't get to buff any of our spells yet. This sucks, dude. I don't think I want another Imp. Especially yet. If we started with Consume cards, it would be a different story. I'm just going to buff the Animus of Speed and get two of them, I believe. <clears throat> what would I do with six Animuses of Speed? I would be drawing them for like the first three hands. I've done, we've done, we've done six Animus rush down before, but just not on Max Ascension. We've done it before. Put two in every row. We definitely could. Even if they die, at least they're just there doing something. And then what? Don't get a tank for the rest of the run? I wish we said no to him. Or, I should have took the event first, maybe. But then I would regret it if I got somebody good, right? There goes our poke. Oh no. They start stunned up here. We don't have a poke. Do I just let her take 20 damage? That could be fine. We do have a heal card. What else am I going to do? Oh, no. Yeah, fudge, dude.
We'll vent down there to kill all the extra stuff. Let them like tank a little bit longer. She's almost dead already. It's beautiful. Top's gonna die, no problem anyway. There's no point in venting. We get the buff here. This is gonna die first. They both have speed, so these are both gonna die first. Uh, we do a lot of damage here and he survives, which is pretty crazy. We have a ping. Nothing we can do with it though. Get him stronger. I can't wait for my heal card. I kind of want him to die so I can get the other Animus down, but we don't have enough damage. Feels bad, man. Oh, ping the bomb to get the damage on the boss. Yeah, that would have been the play, huh? That's what happens when I don't think about every play <laughs> you're fine i don't have anything to do with you we could ping this guy i do need to ping him though we'd only get through to two of them now what do i do with you do i just heal you instead Yeah, we could draw something. Or not. Cool. Impish. gonna get vented i don't know if i want impish scholar in the hand yet he doesn't do much we drew a card already yeah wave we should be golden we have a piercing let's go get some armor on this bad boy uh you're dead you're fine you do 105 damage i think we're feeling uh, golden i mean the animuses are gonna dominate the early game we know that There's our first consume card and we are looking for consumes and that's a pretty damn good consume card one mana for 25 armor is pretty much like yo we're good from sweep dude like we're just solid um I don't think we need front load as much with these animuses. I don't know. We're going to take this. Sweep insurance. Clever, how you doing? Did you get to catch some of the epic tournament yesterday? You would have loved it. The Impale, uh could have been 90 damage. <laughs> yeah. Coulda, woulda. There's the hollow I've been looking for. So much room now. We're going to want it, though. We're gonna have to get the freaking demon out. This sucks, dude. We took like, I should have said no to the demon. We're gonna want something though for like a beefy, a beefy tanky target. Thorns is also good because we're not going like sweep this run. 
So like enemies in the back line will still die by smacking themselves into him, which is cool. We'll start removing cards. We'll be okay, I hope. Pinball whiz! Dude, I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be sick. It's gonna be dope. Maybe we go capacity. That could be a potential three animus floor. What does a three animus floor not do? Like, that could be big. Mana is scary because like we're gonna do want to do plays with this like Impish Scholar pulling spikes back and doing plays with that we're gonna need more mana to do um especially when we get the X spike cards like we need more mana to make that happen um that being said the main thing I'm hoping for and high rolling for right now is the Awoken spike it's gonna make the rest of the deck cheaper um that's a lot of animuses yeah we got carried away We have a little bit too many units in my deck. Uh, tomorrow the Demon Crawl expansion comes out. Yeah, the three the three Hollow also causes problems as well. Capa there's a couple room. There's a couple reasons for capacity, I would say. Um, I don't think it's card draw just yet. Like, our deck is super polluted, but I just think there's other things that we need more. I guess it's capacity. Ah! We have so many animuses, like, we gotta do something. We gotta get them out of our hand. Oh, I thought the removal was over here. I don't want another unit, so this is dead. I don't necessarily think we need- I still want to go this way. I just want the removals, but I still want to- I'd rather go to the right. The right could be fine. The only thing I would do is buff the hollow unit, but I'd rather also buff my heals and there's other stuff that I want to do. Oh boy. <laughs> all right we just need to remove <laughs> we just need to get all of this stuff out of the deck <laughs> oh my god what up red i haven't seen you in so damn long brother so busy with school damn hope you did well man it's nice to see you it's been so long as you can see we've been uh we've been just trucking right along oh yeah this deck is brutal this is like a win condition i feel right here I don't think I can pass that up. I didn't get the damage up that I wanted. 
But we have a nice heal. I did not get the damage up I wanted. I don't think we need scaling as much yet. I was going to make one of these cheaper. But maybe we just buff this for now. Unfortunate. Yeah, we have to remove the deck. We have to remove stuff at all costs now. Actually, we could not make anything cheaper and remove. Maybe that's a bigger play. <laughs> our deck is really powerful if we can get to our cards. Dude, if I found that Awoken unit that car draws cards... Over the spike boy. Oh, that would have been sick. No, wait. There is not one that draws cards. There's one that draws mana, right? That gets mana per hit. Demon Crawl. Dude, I can't wait to play some Demon Crawl. Alright, dude. Our deck is so solid, but we're gonna get so bodied by draw. We're gonna get wrecked by card draw. Okay. This guy's 90 health, so with three animuses... We kill? Depends what floor gets shrunk. Uh, We have ping. We should be okay. We should take the extra damage. We're playing with quick. We have a crazy armor card once we draw it. <laughs> we need to remove like crazy. I think there's a few reasons why we'd want to. If units die, it's not like we can't replace them. We have so many units in the deck. I'm pretty sure this is easy peasy. These people are not a problem if we draw ping. I mean, we can't we can't count on draw at all. These guys are going to be hitting for 11. I mean, this is definitely a gamble. <laughs> Do ascension effects in this game stack? Absolutely. It's the same as Slay the Spire. You deal with all of them. More than a knot, we should be okay. I don't know. This could get very scary very fast, but we have so many units that it shouldn't matter if somebody drops. If we were playing with like one killing floor, it gets a lot scarier. Miss Creator kept deciding to like beat me down last night when we were playing TFT, dude. Very savage. Very savage. Oh, come on! Out of all the units, we draw the guy, the least guy I've wanted first. There's like 10 other people that we could have drawn here. <laughs> At least 10. Oh my god. Uh... Speaking of team colors, anyone know what to do? Uh, we, like, you can unlock my profile. You can unlock our uh, icon uh, in the game. But you can only get it from a streamer's code. If that's what you're asking. Lurge mode. I don't know what you're into, Miss Creator, and I don't know what lurging means, but I'm into it. I don't even want to play him. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I, I, maybe we'll just play him bot and he'll just die. Like, I, <laughs> maybe we just let him die. Do we just let him die? <sighs> I think so. You know what would have been the better play? Probably healing and trying to pull something better. That would have been the better play.
Okay, triple animus floor. This guy that just dies. Uh, 96. 3, 6, 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. What? He survived with one HP! Because I killed the freaking thing! Frustrating, dude. Frustrating. Imp's gonna have to tank here because he gets to attack no matter what, right? You're so annoying. Damn, she's getting slapped, and I can't do anything about it. Oh, I could just put another animus up here. That's pretty interesting. What are we putting down here? Another animus of speed and awoken, so we'll be just fine. I want to start carrying this guy over because when we get that armor card, it's going to hit hard. What I was hoping for. Guess we're not drawing him again. That's fine. We can kill both. We can kill both backline and just play Thorn Hollow, but he's gonna have no backup. Maybe that's fine. I like how she's just better. We could also kill this guy, which might be the better play. If we do that, if we do that, Imp will die, and then she's gonna also die. So we don't play Imp. We do cast top, but then she'll die as well. So maybe it's kill this tank. Do we care that much? I think so. We kill this guy exactly, they all survive. We can let this guy die then. I guess. Do we look for better card draw here? I could ping one of them. And then we kill all of them. That'll work. Uh, whoops. No, it still works. But if I cast another spell, it doesn't. Did I screw up? Uh, you're going to go up to 75. We hit for 70. So we're not gonna kill one of them then. Whoops. Whoops. It's not the end of the world. It'll still be fine. have another animus somewhere 
I was, we didn't draw one vent yet, which is a bit of a bummer. I think we just prep up here. This is our big, biggest killing floor. It's bigger than this. If we get Imp 2, we get to play it again, which is awesome. I think we'll be okay. We didn't get the Imp, unfortunately. Oh, we got the ping, though. I want to try to draw something better. Oh, we drew already. Whoops. Oh, yeah, we're so golden. We're so golden. That worked out, especially considering that we have a super polluted deck. Uh, Diveret, you get it from the broadcasters that you're hunting the codes from. Like, if they're playing the game, go in there and ask them for it. Or, you know. You just, they give you a code, and then you enter the code. Ooh. I don't know if this is as, ooh. Pre-fell, 34 cards, yep. Yep. It's expensive. It's a really good card. That being said, we have our one armor card, which is amazing. We just need to get to it by drawing both of them, and the chances of that happening are not good. Adding another consume rage card is probably the least of our concern right now. And it makes the chances of drawing the armor card not as good. We just need to thin the deck. If we thin the deck, we don't need this anymore. But we still have to thin the deck. Yeah, this is not going to improve us. Kronzo, what up? What's going on, everybody? We definitely want some card draw. That could be good. We don't want Pyro Gyro. Focus growth is like the only potential thing, I think. I don't even know if I care about spikes that much. I don't think I do. If we go left, we can make the card draw better. We do want card draw. I got a new job, but I'm gonna have to go back to school for it. You got a new job. Congratulations. It's focus growth or skip. I only want it for the card draw. Uh, I mean, we can like, as long as we get the Awoken in play, we'll have use for it. It could also potentially slow us down. It gets us started a little bit faster at the cost of having to be upgraded we really need to thin this deck dude is there card removal next or no so we have to go to the right oh god oh god restore feels like dead draw in your deck i mean obviously it's the starting cards of course they're dead so a lot of the torches, but, you know, that's just the life at the top ascension. That is the life. This is scary. We need to remove at all costs.
If we thin the deck, we'll be in a lot better place. That being said, we still don't have a win condition, I don't think. Like, these animuses are not just going to carry us. We have a lot of armor. And that's part of the win condition. And I don't know what the next... Yeah, I guess Spike Boy is the win condition, right? This is part of it. This is part of it. We have the beginning of a... I mean, we're almost there. Yeah, removing cards is the is the best thing that's going to possibly buff our deck right now. That's it. Like, removing cards is the best thing that'll upgrade our deck. That's why we need to remove at all costs. Uh, we're adding dead cards. Oh, God. This fell. That's, like, the one we were not hoping for, I would say. Oh, dear God. <laughs> we need to get him out too honestly he's just gonna be a huge tank <laughs> nah we can't we can't fit a large stone dude Capacity is like a big deal right now and getting the cards out of our deck. We can't take a large stone. We need our capacity. We just need him to be tanky, honestly, and this <laughs> should be just fine. Later on, we'll also get another one. I don't think we need to roll for it. Um, We could put damage on him, but he's literally a dead card right now. It sucks that we took him. We need to aggressively remove. No, we're removing Warrior eventually, yeah. Uh, we have to get rid of all the train word stewards. Reg, what up? Yeah, we have to pay to remove. That's how important it is. It's so important right now. It's actually crazy. We have a lot of money and it sucks. And removing is so expensive, but... Like, we have to get some of these torches out. We have to get some of these restores out. Some, not as bad. Some of the, I think the torches are a bigger concern. Sheesh. Yeah, 50 armor for zero. It's not, it's not only, uh, What's the card? 50, 50 damage for free is what's being recurred. I just uh, spiked Sarah for 25 sap and frostbite. Oh, it's GG's, bro. He just doesn't do anything after that. <laughs> Let's just say goodnight. <laughs> I even, I think I want to do one more removal, actually. That's not, like how desperate I am. And then after the next removal, we'll be feeling a lot better. I don't know. If, I mean, I think we could hold out. Dude, can you imagine hell venting the armor card too? We have to remove though. We have to. And Merchant of Magic's big. That's fine. We won't be greedy. This will be fine. This will be fine. Right before the boss, we're going to hit our power spike right here. That, now the question is, do I spend such a big amount of money to get there? I mean, if we're float really good, we could take on an event here. That'd be just fine. If we play this right, what happens if it spikes? I don't think we care. If it's armor, I don't think we care. If it's rushdown, we don't care. If it's... What other events are there? <laughs> oh, if it's like multi-strike or something? Could be a little bit scary. I don't know, man. This is pretty important. So now the question is, torches are the next weakest? I'm pretty sure. Actually, I don't know. He's the next weakest, right? He's even weaker than a restore, I think. And worse than a ping. I'm pretty sure. He's dead space. Yeah, he's even worse. <laughs> Dude, why did we take this card? This could have been 10 bucks. No, this could have been more than that because we're paying $120 right now. 
<laughs> it's like a it's like a hundred and thirty dollar card and i was about to not take him he's just one of those bait cards dude oh my god that was a hundred and thirty dollar card right there a hundred and thirty dollar warrior it's like sending your kids to college bro it just hurts except he's not even my child oh no all right, so it turned out to be armor, and it also turns out to be sweet boy. We should be okay. I mean, we're pretty beefy. I don't know why we would be scared. We're in a good place right now where the animuses don't care about the sweep. Uh, but we do have to get past... We do have to get past uh, uh, 110, which is fine. We do that in, like two floors to a floor and a half or something like that like it shouldn't be a problem this should be an easy 150 dollars then we also have to deal with this guy though oh dear god this is the bigger problem i mean as long as we have enough armor on bottom floor with a hollowed unit and he could tank all the lifesteal i don't see how this would be a problem i don't know it's kind of scary Twenty eight HP. So when he attacks the third time, if they're full HP, they'll go down to twenty. That'll do twenty seven. They'll still be alive with one HP, so they can withstand until his fourth attack. So they get three attacks in each. So it's like a hundred damage per animus. No, we attack before him, so that's four attacks each. So they're doing like what 130 each times three on a floor that's 300 400 damage ish if they're full hp i don't see how we would lose i say that now this guy's also going to be squishing squishing them up though It also adds up if we get the armor card in rotation. We did th aggressively thin the deck. If everyone's not full HP though, they die. It matters. Um... Oh yeah, the more we apply spikes as well, it's also uh, interesting. Like this should be one that we win. We should be okay. We should be. We also only need to apply uh, armor once per person. We don't have to tank the front unit. I don't think. I want to say that we got this. I don't see why we wouldn't. If the better, the faster we get the armor card, the better. I want to put him down, but he doesn't die. But if we don't get a heal next turn, So we could do thorned hollows plus sharpen or we could do thorned plus buff the animus it's a nice killing floor or we can put this animus in the middle and set up for a big killing floor they don't kill him though they don't kill him even if there's three of them here we do 105 he has a hundred we need five more damage so we do with piercing like we do it with a piercing attack or something Come <laughs> on. 
scary. Let's draw a card. Vent. Not what I was hoping for. Oh, we killed him first. Okay. That made us a lot better. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, we got piercing. We got piercing. Uh, you need a tank right now. Oh, she doesn't attack, though. You're going to take nine to the face. It's fine. You attack first, so you guys are fine. Piercing attack? Or we could pull him to the front. These two together don't even do anything. So just pulling him to the front seems like a good idea. <laughs> Right? They don't even do anything. What? I thought I pulled already. Oh man. We have another Animus, I think. One, two, three, four. I think we have one more. I'm pretty sure we kill him first here too. Oh, we got the armor card too. Yeah, we kill him first, and then these are all dead. This is dead. Okay, we're in a good place. Armor this up. Because this guy needs to waste a lot of the heal. Uh, Mr. Edwards, thank you so much for the follow, man. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Yo, what's up, brother? How's it going? Edwards. How's it going, man? Guys, I gotta tell you, man, I was talking about it in the Discord, but in case you don't hang out in there, man, I gotta tell you how happy I am with how that tournament turned out yesterday. We've been doing tournaments throughout our whole community's life, so about three years now, and we've never had one executed and performed and as hype as the one yesterday. And that, that was a big contribution to one, Liz finding us and being part of the community, and two, just a testament to the community pulling through, man. Uh, I found you on YouTube and got hooked on One Step for Meeting. Yo! Mr. Edwards, let's go! <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. How's it going, my man? That is uh, one of the best uh, roguelites that I've been hyping for a long time this year. This is another one. This is another Game of the Year contender. Uh, right here, man. And if you love games like that, you're going to love it here, brother. Thank you so much. I haven't beaten the... Dude, it's not... Don't worry, man. Like, I've had... Dude, I've been playing that game for a year and a half before it came out to get that good a year and a half like me and my community like we play a lot of games like way ahead of time it's just like one of the benefits of doing what we do so we've been very like in the loop of the game for a long time and that's why i wanted to make those guides to help people i'm so glad you're enjoying <laughs> I think this is a really good place that we're in. This guy gets some armor. As soon as we get the imp. Oh, wait. We need room for the imp. We have to make sure that we can ping our own imp. Does it matter who I ping here? I don't think so. Dude, thank you so much, man. I always say this, um, but like the YouTube community, we just like recently started that YouTube, um, but you can see there's a lot of content already. Um, and the reception and the community around YouTube coming over to like Twitch to hang out with us, man. It's been the most positive experience I've like I was I would never expect. The YouTube community has been so awesome. Um, so I just can't wait to fill it up with more content, man. Thank you. She could die. It's fine. Help the boss will get less life steal that way. Um, I think. We'll buff these units.
Got him. Here we go. Now we get imp. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No! I forgot about this con consume crap. I forgot about that. It's like anti remove synergy. I got an idea. Who do you know making plays like this? I need to know. Who do you guys know making plays like me? I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, but I need to know. I need to know. Have fun down there, brother. Me, but I learned from you. I'll definitely throw a soap when I get paid. Oh man, way too generous, brother. I just want you to enjoy. Guys, we couldn't have asked for a better start. We couldn't have asked for a better start. Except to kill this imp and have a heal card in our play, but we don't have a heal card. <laughs> you need to die. <laughs> Yo, can I get a heal card though? If I put this down, we can't play the imp. Nah, we'll win top lore. We don't need to play the imp. Uh, no, we just win. We don't need to worry about him. They both win. One wins with style? Fair. <laughs> well, we handled this event fine. If we didn't get a heal card. Let my units go. Bye! Really good event. We took no damage. We got 150 gold there. Let's go, dude. I mean, this makes sense, right? That's 200 damage. With our armor card? If not more? No, wait. Yeah, wait, no, wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or we go mana. It's expensive? Yeah, it's expensive as hell. I mean, we can make it cheaper. Yo, if we put it on both 400? <laughs> I just want to gold it, but yeah, it's probably a bad pick. It's a big investment. Imp is cute. We don't need that either, though. It's interesting that we haven't been running into the biggest mana problems. I do still have cards that I want to buff. We also need to remember that we're playing, um, we're playing Fel where she's adding garbage to our hand that we need to play. Mm. 
him. After Fell, I believe I'm going... I want to say I'm going card draw, but we need mana pretty bad. Not yet, but... I don't know. If the next battle, we still don't need mana. It's, it's definitely scary, though. Once you get to the last battle and they're adding a bunch of garbage to your hand... We are still cutting down, you're right. This card is cute. It's actually a draw two. If it's my first heal card. Well, this is a bummer. I'm scared to take this because of my imp. This screws up our imp manipulation a little bit. I don't like that. And Sting is useless, so maybe we just take 25 bucks. But if we did take that armor blast card, spiritual well-being six HP is a lot if the difference is either I can ping the emperor I can't You just need to use three torches. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, our win condition just be armor and spikes on our tank. That's a big win condition. I can't use these anymore. Remove the consumer <laughs> store, true. <laughs> We're gonna probably re-roll that too. Can I get a 10 damage up or am I not going to get one the whole run? <laughs> Do 
If I get a hold over on that, I'd be pretty happy. <sighs> it's on the piercing spell? Yeah, true. Mana might be a problem here because she's gonna be throwing a lot of the garbage in our deck. Do 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 do. They shrunk top. That's fine. These nerds are gonna be annoying. Maybe we start building middle floor then. Kill it next turn. Nice. Oh my god, you savage! kill all of them by putting another animus when am i gonna put one down here now oh, yeah that's fine it's fine it's fine they're all dead take five mentioned yesterday mad people while i was uh shout casting we're using the humble bundle uh link thank you guys so much man it kept going off yesterday and i totally forgot man thank you for everyone that did that oh egg you have an awesome night i didn't really get to see you today i know you were lurking nice to see you have an awesome evening yo where's my anim where's my what's his face i mean we have a lot of room down here so we can put another one we also have piercing here Ah, so close. He gets armor if I hit him, though. We'll put this one up here. We can kill one of these guys back here. Shave off a little bit of damage. Then they get buffed. We didn't draw a good heal, and we didn't draw the Awoken yet, so I'm happy with that. We want to get the good heals when we get the Awoken. So we'll get the Awoken now, maybe? Yep. We got it now, and we got our... Oh, and we got... This is like... This is the perfect hand. This is like the perfect hand we could have... At. He's three capacity SD! No! Not a two... Thick boy is thick. Alright, congratulations. You're our new tank. I saw the tournament you posted on YouTube. Have you joined a tournament or anything? I just saw the tournament you posted on YouTube. Have you joined a tournament? Uh, the tournament is the one that we hosted yesterday, uh, Mr. Edwards, that we just posted. In this game, we held a big tournament. <laughs> Damn it, I asked for that. Damn it! 
All right, congratulations. You're the new tank. Yesterday we had a big tournament for this game. It was really fun. The racers did. Oh, that guy is sweet, doesn't he? Or is that Harvest? Harvest. You're dead. You guys are dead. We got our armor card. She's our con win condition now. Congratulations. Hey, look, Impish. All right, we win. We win. It's called We Win. What do I do with this guy now? Nothing? We have to give him feed or something. Or harvest or whatever. No, slay. We have to give him slay. Oh, come on, dude. I win. Stop buffing people. We don't kill here? Or do we? No. Do we kill? That's so annoying. Oh, so it does kill. If I get hold over on this card, I'm going to be so happy. That's like another win condition, I think. Oh, we're feeling real good. I lost the imp like a loser. So armor is really good. Uh, consume, restore friendly unit to full health and swap. So he'll go to... <laughs> so he's gonna go to 80 attack, five health. <laughs> I 
I want to use that card one day, but I can never find the opportunity. I guess if I buffed his attack as well, we would have been able to. That would have been cute. I can't add more units, dude. Double the amount of spikes seems like a big deal, but I'd have to put him behind the Awoken one. The Hollow, I mean. Oh, yeah, we can't add consume cards as well. All right, we're skipping. Uh, all right, it's mana or card draw. I believe I want mana more. It allows me to manipulate the imp multiple times in one turn. But right now I'm struggling. Also, when we're dealing with a lot of curse cards in our hand, things are going to get very sloppy. Um, If I could do something like uh, put holdover on this, it'll allow me to get a free heal and rejuvenate proc. Uh, while drawing a card and drawing a card for the next turn. So it'll start to scale that way um, Which seems really cool. So it'll always give me another card and an extra mana So I think that's my biggest priority right now trying to get hold over on this. I think it's a cute play um We would need to go left so I can't go to removal then we get pyre, we get money, and then we get trink. Oh, that's trinkets. So maybe we still go, right? We just can't put holdover on it for a while. That's fine. The more we can play armor cards, like the more we win, I guess, is like the way to look at it. Yo, SJ! How you doing, my brother? Did you catch some of the tournament yesterday? You would have definitely enjoyed it as well. Card draw. I don't think we're desperate for mana, and card draw is good, but I don't know. I, I think I'd rather have the flexibility, and we'll find ways to draw cards. We could go left and, like, find card draw or something, which could be a big deal. But I think removal is a bigger deal, maybe. Like, we could still remove one restore, one torch, and probably be feeling really good. Yeah, we goofed the imp, unfortunately. We could have been able to play it twice. Um, Yeah, we could remove a restore, remove a, a torch. Or we double remove torch, because we have a lot of ping. But we do need torches if we're going to play like double imp, things like that. So we need to kind of keep it even. Actually, maybe removing one vent is even better. We can't target our own units with it. But we're going to, I feel like as soon as we take out an AoE, we regret it. One vent, one torch. That's just what I was thinking. So I guess vents also are a little less valuable because we're dealing with quick. So vent comes in handy when you can't get through all of the like the thickness, like all the thick rows. And so you want something like vent, but vent becomes less necessary when we have quicks. So we're going to attack all those units uh, first. One imp, one mana, one one. You got to remove it. Transcendence imp, dude. Remember the last time, last run, yes, the other day I wait, wait, tried to roll for that. I like one bit when restore as well. If like once we get holdover on this, we're gonna be golden. Oh, we got a hell event opportunity coming up. Ooh, we're going to spike in the last area again, too. This is going to be good. I don't know what's going to be in here. Let's go right. Oh, dude, it was so awesome, man. It was our best tournament yet. You would have loved it. Spikes are more health. I think I'm going spikes on this one. All right, before we do anything else, let's see what's in here.
large stone it. Remember, uh, there was a speed run where I had um, endless on this and 10 damage up. I mean, holdover. So every turn, I could play this for 12 damage and get money. <laughs> that was a wild run. That was a wild run. And I think we lost. Yeah, but I think it's a little late at this point. This is the last area. Well, second to last area. I don't want to add more crap to my deck. I think we're just going to take this because it's the artifact. It's, it's a little late. If it was earlier, I would take it. So we're just going to take aggressive here. Yeah. Yeah, it's also good with days, Tim. Not that, like, people are getting through to the fire anyway, but... To give him some use, I think I'm going to get Slay here. You can't Petty Theft your own imp. No, it says enemy unit on that one. I'm super glad you explained stuff. Thank you so much, Mr. Edwards. It's not easy, but it's an important part of this stream and, and this content, I would say. The idea is somebody would be able to follow along, even if this is their first time seeing the game, or they're not super into video games, they would still be able to have a good time and follow along with somewhat what's going on. Um, that's like the, always the goal of my shows. Sometimes it's more exhausting than others, so I don't do as good of a job, but I also do this for like 12 hours a day, so you gotta cut me some slack on some shows, but thank you, man. I really appreciate that. You beat Covenant 25! Liz, congratulations! We need more Misfits getting to 25, let's go. Apparently Liz has like 25 minute runs. My PB in this game is 33 minutes, but that's back when I wasn't that good yet. But that's still, I find that really crazy. I don't know how you do that. I have no idea what's happening. Dude, I got you, man. But have you, Mr. Edwards, what other kind of games are you into? I know you just found us. What other kind of games do you like? I know you just got into one step. Do you play other roguelites and stuff? Mad clown. Covenant 4 with 40 minute runs? That's still pretty good, man. I play so slow. I want to start playing faster, but right now I'm like I'm still in the like try hard and figuring things out mode for some reason. Maybe I'll always be here. <laughs> She's just better. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. RPGs, do you play platform fighters? No way, dude. If you play platform fighters, it's a wrap. We have a good amount of healing cards now that I think about it, as long as we get all the units in play. Ah, I don't know how I feel. Playing the imp and then killing the imp is a big deal. Wait a second, is this fortify like an even worse card now for us? It could still have its uses, maybe. I don't know, maybe that is a worse card. It's free though. Maybe is fortify worse? <laughs> Some roguelikes, fighting games. Do you play like Rivals of Ether? I think Fortify might be worse, right? It doesn't ping. It doesn't like heal the units for the card draw. And we just have a way better armor card now. So it's kind of like, uh, damn. To think this would be one of the worst cards. The only person that's vulnerable to sweep right now is the person that's going to be on the top lane, which doesn't matter anyway. And we could always just armor him then if we need to protect him. If we have to protect them, I guess. You're, oh, you're, pro, you're being a pro player. 
I'm trying to think. Like, worst case scenario, it's because we're dealing with the sweep. But I still don't know if we care if he dies or not. Are you kidding me? More of a casual game? You're bugging, bro. You definitely don't know about Rivals of Ether. Like, if you're going to compare it to other platform fighters like Smash and you're going to call Rivals of Ether more casual, you're bugging. You are bugging. That is so wrong, dude. In every direction. There's no way, dude. Anybody that plays both platform fighters will admit that as well. And I like Smash. There's no competition. Oh, 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 like Guilty Gear and stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you were comparing it to other platform fighters. They're like, bro, you are bugging. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. But I would say like Rivals of Ether is like the Guilty Gear of platform fighters. But like, there, there comes with trade-off, right? Like platform fighters are way more enjoyable to me and way more freedom than games like Guilty Gear and stuff like that. But that's like another competition and like people like traditional fighters and I like watching traditional fighters a lot. So speaking of, uh, let me make my choice first. Uh, okay, we're getting rid of this. Um, what was I about to say? Um, whatever happened to that new Guilty Gear game that was supposed to come out? Do I remove a card for $300? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of about it. Wait, we could also remove cards down here for free. So maybe I don't. I want this deck to be clean, dude, because this is going to be a two win streak if we get this, which also proves why um this uh, clan is just so much more dominant. Like we just barely struggle. It's still in beta. Gotcha. It's still in beta. Um, I don't think I pay for a removal here. OK, I think we're in a really good place. Like, I wouldn't buy it. Like, I, I gave into the last DBZ game. And, like, I realized they're just not for me. I like platform fighters. It's just, like, so much more. I think we do well against this guy. He, like, scales a lot to weak hits. But, like, when we hit, we hit pretty hard, I would say. What is the weakest clan? Um, uh, wax people. Melting. You can even see the difference. Last week, we focused on Wax. This week, we focused on Hellhorn. This week, we've only been having victories. Last week, we had to struggle and sweat for maybe a victory. Like, <laughs> wax, the wax needs a buff so bad. They're definitely, like, the weakest in the game, in my opinion. But All right, $400. How are we feeling? I love them. No, they're cool. As, they're cool. Like, like, I don't know. They're cool as Mook, but they're definitely not like the bangerang choice. Like, they're just, you know, they're cute. All right. So when these guys die, they're also going to deal damage to the front enemy unit. And they're also going to have 23 HP. So we still kill them with one Animus. Each Animus is going to be able to kill one. But the front Animus is going to take 30... Uh, 15 damage in the process. There might be a sweep guy in this pool. I'm not really sure. And he also has harvest. This guy's going to have a hundred and I don't know, 60 plus HP. Hmm. Did this guy get like bigger? I don't remember them being so tanky. This is crazy. Like, we don't need to greed here. We have enough money, but I want to greed because we're powerful. Nice, Snake! Almika Lance, what up, what up?
I don't know. I think more souls do very, very well. Uh, actually, our last victory in this streak was Hellhorned uh, Umbra, wasn't it? And it was just busted. It was so busted. And we like butchered the last battle and we were still golden. Like, like it was busted, busted. Who was here for that last run, dude? It was just ridiculous. Yeah, Kaden, exactly. There's just so much like prerequisite that comes with it. Tundra, have an awesome uh, rest, brother. All right, let me see. I'm getting sidetracked. We should be fine here. Do I want this gold? I do. We could always use the gold. So let's be real. We don't die here no matter what, I don't think. I say that now. Watch us get bodied. Ready? No, everyone could win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone could win. Everyone could win. I'm not saying that they can't win. I'm just saying they're the weakest clan in the game. And I'm also saying that they're, I'm not saying that they're not cool, but they're definitely the weakest in the game. Yeah, how much how much does this do? 68 for free. That's sick. Maybe we just roll this gold and don't do anything and get a pyre kill, pyre win. <laughs> Not really, but that's still sick. <laughs> oh man, is he gonna get bops here? 5, 10, 15, 25. We have a vine grass, but it's not gonna do anything. Yo, this is kind of rough. Middle floor also got nerfed. Oh God. This is going to be very awkward. Was I not supposed to play him? I don't really know what to do here. Because we can't put a bunch of animuses down here. This will be a double animus. This will be a double animus. This is going to be awkward. Did you see the info form? Creature of Ether about the draft mode? No, dude. But I need to sign up for that. Creature of Ether looks sick. I don't really know what to do here. I want these guys to die because if they go up to the pyre, if they go up to the pyre, the pyre is going to get slapped for 15 damage. If he goes up to the pyre, it's not a big deal. My boy got slapped for a lot of damage. I'm hoping for some heal cards here. We got a vent. Okay, maybe the armor thing was a little bit greedy. He's dead here. I don't have a heal. I don't have a heal or somebody that could fit in the front. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe this is a little bit greedy. Or maybe we set up a killing floor up here for now. Or maybe we do all the above. I think we're still fine as long as we armor the Luke out of somebody. I want him to kill to get slay.
This is a little bit greedy. We'll be fine, right? <laughs> we definitely didn't need this money, but... Let's see how this goes. We didn't get our card yet. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, but you also have to remember that the more these units get whittled down, we still have a boss wave. Like, I'm not even, like, there's more, like, I'm never just talking about the pyre. I'm talking about, like, the bigger problems, like, the boss coming through. Because our tank is now gone, so one of these has to be super tanky, and as you can see, they're falling apart. Like, the pyre is, like, the least of my worries right now. Ba, ba, ba. Yes! This is gonna be our best killing floor. Do we just start buffing up here? I accidentally discarded my carry? Oh no. Do I have another animus? I do, I do, I do. I can make this some kind of killing floor. This is gonna be my least threatening killing floor here. Yo, this is big. This is big for us. This is our playroom right here. This is big for us. We don't have a ping this time. We did get the next Animus, though. Oh my god, this Animus is gonna get slapped? I don't like that. I want to see what I draw first. fine this is gonna be our biggest killing floor i think who kills who right now three six you guys kill him 70 no you need a little bit more damage i don't want to do too much damage though no 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 no, no. that's fine actually that's fine actually and he'll get the kill and scale more
We're in a good place. We're in a good place. We're in a good place. Ah, oh, we didn't get a heal card this time. This is like the worst we could get. That's fine. We still get the uh we still get to do it one more time. Ow. Yo, this is actually very scary, giving them all 15 armor or whatever, 20 armor. Like, in future, like, candle people would never be able to do this, I feel. Like, note to self, this is scary, dude. The seventh area is nuts. We could kill him right now, but let him tank a hit. He's dead. We're also not doing a ton of damage. All right, we have a play here, I think. No, we don't. Oh God. I don't think I could do anything to save these people, right? I could kill one of them. I could kill some of these guys, actually. Bye. Kill Imp. Why not let Imp take the mid? No, we could have definitely put it, uh, Imp in mid. I didn't really think about it. Dude, my guy got two stacks right there. Yo, top floor about to be hitting hard. Still never got to put a damage on this. <laughs> Yo, he's getting big. Damn. Top lane is crazy. Yeah, endless I'm should have went in mid, definitely. We do it again here. They ain't getting through that. Try them again. Good luck, brother. We can't play Imp anymore. I shouldn't have played Imp the last time. Oh no, I had to. Yo, look at that, dude. Look at that. Yeah, how much damage would that armor card do right now? He has what, 200 armor? It's times four. So we're talking like upwards of 800 damage. If we draw it on the right turn. That's insane. Yeah, that's that is our win condition right now. It's well, the idea is to put armor on hollowed unit and also be scaling thorns and we'd be golden like. That would be perfectly OK, I think, but.
I think these all slow us down. We might need a little bit more front load damage, but... It's gonna slow us down. We need to get imp as fast as possible. The consume combo is cool. It's sick, right? And then we're using sap tap to heal, draw a card, and get the imp back to play him twice. If we got more card draw, we could probably manipulate it a little bit more, but we don't have anything right now. I think sacrifice imp. Like, our, I don't think our deck's OP enough just to start adding fluff to our deck, unfortunately. Like, we still don't have a lot of killing potential. And our front load for the first, like, three waves is not good. <laughs> like, there's going to be two thanks, tanks thick this time. And we're not going to have the front load damage. And this we can only use once we draw that Endless Imp. This is the spike that we're looking for. I think this is also really good in our deck, right? This is why I took the Consume Imp originally. This is going to make it so I can play all the cards and draw more cards. So if I do play that now, there's a chance that my Imp will not pull out Alloy of the Ancients. We'll keep pulling out Spike. But when that happens, when we get to that point where we're playing the whole deck, we just stop playing Spike. And we can afford one dead card. It's possible. This allows us to scale these infinitely. We'll have a lot more scaling. It should be fine. We get to play it like twice and then be good. No, that's my point. It's consume, but after we use it like twice, we just stop playing it. That's, that's exactly what I was just talking about. So it speeds up our initial game and it makes our deck cheaper. Like it could be good. And then, we, and then it turns into a dead card, but that could be fine by then. Why doesn't Deadweight have a gold border? That's a good question. It speeds our early game up, and I think our early game is slacking. That's why I want to take it. Why doesn't Deadweight have a golden border? Like, we lose one card, one draw of it, but I think it's fine. You know what? We could even Hellvent Imp if we're feeling really crazy. That might be overkill, though. I think we're going right no matter what. And we're also getting artifacts here, so I think we're feeling pretty powerful. If we find card draw, though... Ooh, we found the holdover. How much does our Animus do, by the way? Our, our Animus is doing like 100 and something. Oh, 124. It says it right here. 124 damage per hit. That's not bad, dude. It's about to go down, though. Also, armor? Alright, good. GG's. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't like any of these, really. This does help our front load, though. That's going to be a problem. It's... Six extra damage is not going to do much for us. Pyre lifesteal. All right, let's see what we get. Plus two on kill could help. We didn't get good relics here. I was really hoping for something better. Oh, 
Oh boy. Alright, it's fine. We can even put a hold over on something and then hell vent it to do something crazy. This is actually a big deal, the holdover. Because we also have a hell vent here. We're definitely gonna need front load. That makes me think maybe this is a good holdover target. And then we put some uh, extra spell damage if we decide to roll into it. Holding over this is what I wanted because this guarantees a card draw every single turn. Plus it makes our hand bigger and gives us an extra mana. Do we need the extra mana right now? I don't think so. We could just hell vent the armor card and probably be pretty happy. We could hell vent the important spike card. Then that could just be a win condition on its own. It's basically just one mana per turn. I mean, we still... So like the slot that this takes up is going to be that extra card draw slot. So we still get the card draw per turn, which is extra imp manipulation. And an extra mana. No, that's what I'm saying. But the extra, so this will just take up the extra slot. So it's not inhibiting us. I wonder if Hornbreak is going to come in clutch here. This probably becomes a lot less scary once we can actually damage the back row. Last time we couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, it might just be Alloy. It might always be Alloy. I just don't know... Mm, I'm trying to think what I'm going to hold over. We could actually reduce the mana on Sharpen and hold over it. That'll help us scale out the wazoo. I think I'm more worried about the front load damage right now. We have Sap Tap. That's the whole reason. That was the whole reason I was talking about doing this. Yeah. I think in that case, we put holds over on Engraft, and then we could actually remove a couple of these crappy restores, and it'll make the whole deck function a lot better, now that I think about it. Maybe that's the play. Is the front load issue just because of the armor gamble? Um, enemies are definitely going to have like upwards of 100 and something HP and they're going to be too thick. The tanks are going to be too thick and a back line. So we're going to have to get through all that health. Um, we could probably kill one okay. tank of floor. They're going to be so this is the, the final area. They do two tanks thick. It's insane. I, I think we're definitely lacking the front load. But even when they get up to the pyre, I mean, we're using all this money though, so the pyre's not gonna do that much. Yeah, enemies almost have 200 HP. So they're, they're very scary. They're very scary. It's not like we have a rage card. This is our only front load, but we also need to make sure that we get like weakened to use it. Maybe that's a big deal. That's 50 damage to the front target. Maybe this is the holdover target. We don't be greedy. Being able to remove restores is big. I agree. <sighs> Restoration could be a big deal. As soon as we start getting armor, it's underwhelming. It's a good point. I 
Unless we did things like piercing on our own targets or something. Yeah. I don't know what helps our damage. <laughs> like our front load damage. I don't think we have anything. Uh-oh. I mean, once he gets big enough, we're fine. Once he's good, we're fine. The regrets of battering ram. All right. Okay, so we're definitely gonna rest hold over it. We'll hold over. We'll hold over this because it's cute. Make this cheaper. We want to use this every turn. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary or not. Probably not. Punch the mook out of folks. I am hoping. All right. And we're definitely going to double down on Alloy of the Ancient so we get it faster, right? Plus, we have Awoken Spike, so maybe we just save the money. Uh, but we definitely don't need the heal then. The crappy heals. Once we draw this, we're golden. Alloyed is like our biggest card. Guarantees the front line doesn't die. Do we take Consumed Crown? Maybe it's better to let the Pyre finish people off by not taking this. That's a lot of damage. Maybe it's not the right call. It's too slow. I think I agree. That is a nice safety net. Then we get a free attack in. Most things will get wiped out. I was thinking about Hornbreak, but we don't. I don't know what I'm going to be up against. Like, it's really good against the tanky units, but besides that, it feels meh. Um, I think armor is going to be our biggest call. Like, even if we t get beat up here, with enough armor and spikes, we just instantly win. So even if we take some chip damage, which is the scariest part of it, one more animus? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay. Any last minute touches? Should I remove one more heal? Remove one more heal? Speed us up a lot? What, what are... We don't want to heal. We want armor. This is going to be our main heal. Ah, uh, we can't search, though. Oh, wait. I want the, like, I want the 10 damage up one, actually. I want the 10 damage up stone. So we reroll. Ten damage up on our uh, vent is a big deal, right? Once we get this, we don't need the man anymore. Put ember on something before rerolling. I don't think I need to ember. 
It doesn't hurt, but I don't think we need it. Reduce spikes. Do we still have a two costing one? Oh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double stack or keep the money? I mean, that's our win condition, right? Spikes? Spikes is our win condition? Spikes and armor? Maybe that's a big deal. You're at the last boss? We're, no, because our pyre is hitting for 96. That's why we're questioning it. Money, money. Yeah, we're trading a safety net, essentially. I think we'll be okay. place we lose is, is the chip damage i would assume so with the amount of armor we have i don't know how they would get through to us so yeah maybe you're right like seraph is gonna be doing three attacks every swing so that's three times our thorns plus the amount of armor that we put on assuming that the hollow stays alive so yeah we'll just leave it alone Here we go. This is for our two streak covenant 25. Oh wait, we're removing, we're playing debuffer. We're playing debuffer as well. He's gonna cut the thorns in half. Click the cat repeatedly. He just kicks. I got an achievement. Nice. I got an achievement. Dude, we're playing debuffer. Maybe we do need the double stacks on our on our thorns, actually. Yeah, that's a very good synergy, Mr. Edwards. Um, so the restore, every time we get hit, will bring us, like, give us life while they're punching us. It's usually like a dynamic duo, yeah. Yeah, sharpening to buff Prince is also another option. If our hollow dies, that's our backup plan. Yeah, but they're gonna be on two different floors. If we put them on the same floor, which we can, we're probably trading one thing for another. What scales faster? He has multi-strike, what, three? So every four damage we put on him is times three. I guess that is better. Let's get this dub! All right, go easy on me. Give me an easy turn, easy turn. Last time, it was like the r most rough turn when we beat him on the last run. All right, that floor got shrunk. That's not so bad. And we could ping people? Oh, baby. All right, I guess we're setting up a Batboy big last floor. It's only going to be Hornbreaker and Thorn. Is that going to be okay? I don't see why it wouldn't. 
We have to get him so big that he gets all the kills. Which means that he's gonna murder all of these people. But it also means that this guy needs to be able to tank a lot of damage. <laughs> Here we go! Okay, first turn. Is this Ember Drain? I think that's Ember Drain. We need to at least be able to kill that guy. 150? Uh oh. All right, we got our holdover card draw. Dude, that's so much damage right now. We have to heal and see what we get. If we put thorns on one of them, we'll kill some of the back line. Maybe this was guy was a better buffer. I'm not really sure. I can't even put this down. We'll just get Ember Drain. Biscuit. Fifteen thirty. 30, 15, 30, 41. Fifteen, nineteen. Yeah. So we have to kill at least one. Oh my god. Well, this is why we uh we need our armor card because our units are gonna die before we get it. Thank god we thinned the deck aggressively. This will guarantee we get it next turn. If we if we draw that, we can guarantee getting some of the cards we need. We have two, thank god. We can keep two rows alive. Ah! Once we stabilize, this Ember Drain is going to rock our world, though. All right, as long as I kill one of them, we'll be okay up here. short on damage I have to kill one of them up here she's just gonna have to die
If we drew vent, it would kill all of them. My boy's not getting fed. That's really good. What am I doing about these people? They need to survive, but I don't see how we do it. Okay, let me think about this real quick. So if I heal this guy and put armor on him, this is dead and he has 50 armor. So the rest of this is easy and my guy gets fed. I would have to come down here and vent. These two are gone, one man is gone. I come down here and I vent, these two are dead. And she's still at 10. <laughs> Okay. They're gonna die to thorns. Mm, yeah, it's true. Why not heal? Oh, so we don't kill the front target? I don't know if our story even saves us. Let's see. It doesn't. Twenty, ten, twenty. Like we're still dead, no matter what. She's dead. Unless we, like, find a way to heal her or something. Let me see here. We can play this at zero mana, so that's good. Um, armor top needs to start happening. Donation. If restore destination, she goes to 20 plus restore. She'll go over 20, then she'll survive with vent. That is an idea. One mana, two, three. We could pierce somebody as well. It's definitely risky. <laughs> we could try it. I think this happens no matter what. You know what? That also becomes a problem because these two are Ember Drained. If we don't kill this guy, we get Ember Drained. I think I'd rather not be Ember Drained and scale this guy myself than deal with minus mana next turn. But she needs to live. That also becomes a problem. Crap. Oh wait, we're also gonna draw a Woken Spike, so it's not that bad. It won't be that bad. Okay, wait, 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 wait. this could work, this could work, this could work, this would good.
Can he get? No, they die. Save armor. Have I weakened him? How, what's the threshold I have to get this guy to? Six. There's just no way. Unless we deal like 50 damage, he's not getting hit. Yeah, we can do that. the last ember drain unit i'm pretty sure playing imp here is big so we have two armor ups we're definitely gonna armor mid here she needs some help she needs backup I'm trying to think of what order to do things in um because we could always play spike and use all of our mana and then get some mana back um let me just think uh so we, imp needs to happen And draw him with spike we could wait a second he would be reduced we wouldn't have to pay for him anymore true so then to do that that would be one mana we would have to play him for one mana then kill him for another mana then play this off that no, wait a second. This is going to pull him out. So I would need to play this first. I would need three mana to do it, at least. Yeah. We can do that, though. I think that's a good play. I want to increase my chances of getting this in the discard pile, so we're going to play this first. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but we need to use it. I got to keep these guys alive. Doesn't matter. Yo, this guy needs a heal before the next sweep. All right, let's not play the armor card, actually. Not yet. He might need the armor card if we don't find a heal. Alloy him first. Mm, and then try to pull it back. Damn, I, did, I wasn't planning on healing him. I, I would rather just heal him, but now it's a gamble. Better safe than sorry.
It's better up here. This guy sweeps. I think we armor middle one more time and it'll be good for the rest of the battle. And then we just focus fire on him. Hard body karate. Like everything. There is another Ember Drain? That's fine. We got the right thing. So we could do an armor play, but I think we really do need to kill. This is gonna... We could kill Imp and pull Imp, or we could pull something else. Pulling Imp is big. Pulling Imp, like we can kill Imp and also play Animus, which is a big play. It gives us more front load. We also need to make sure that we get this in play. And like scaling him is a big deal. Cause the more he starts killing here, the bigger he's gonna get. So sharpening the champion is one mana. Playing this is one mana. Playing this will give us a mana back and draw Imp back. And then we could play her and Imp again. All right. Let me just make sure I'm not bugging. One mana, two mana, three, uh, one mana, two mana. We'll go down to zero, play this. We go back up to one, draw imp, imp is free. Get to play her, play imp as well. No, we're not talking about drawing a card from this. We're talking about drawing a card from that. <laughs> nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. I know why everyone's getting confused. <laughs> I think that's the play. I'm just trying to... I, I better not screw this up. Yeah, this Ember Drain's hard to deal with, but we'll be alright. Please don't pull the spike here with zero mana. I think for now on, he'll get pretty fed. We don't get Ember Drain bot because the imp died. Dude, thank God we left that damage on there because that is our biggest flaw right now. Like, I knew this front load was slacking. That's the problem. Our front load is slacking. Like, maybe if we had multi-strike on these chicks instead of the 10 damage up. So we have to see what impulse, and then we'll decide from there. <laughs> nice, we got armor again. Um, yeah, we have the vent no matter what. I'm trying to think, there's a way we could set up my boy for some more. We'll see. Uh, okay. We could keep mid alive for now. Well, if we take, if we vent middle, what are we venting? We're probably venting mid. If we vent mid, she only takes 14 damage. She'll be okay. So maybe armoring her is a waste. 
killing imp is a good thing. We could even throw her out of the pool now. If I kill back row, we're just saving damage. He's not gonna kill him anyway. Grab a lot of Ember Drain next turn. That's fine. Yo, this last boss fight is like always mocha ass, dude. Oh, final wave is here. No, oh, dear God, dude. And we have Ember Drain. Oh my God. This is our last chance to imp as well. No, we can imp up here. We have no ping this time though. We could definitely save on some Ember Drain though. She's gonna die here? Mm. We could play this for two mana. Mm. It's not that great. Giving a sweeper ember drain is rude as up. <laughs> what up, Chrono? We don't need to play this here. We can kill ember drain boy, but I want my boy to get fed. It's probably still worth it. Her dying is probably fine. Cool, he gets another kill here. Guess. Oh, we played the spike, so now we're not gonna. We might not pull armor. We do have a double buff here, which is great. Uh, we don't have a self ping though, which is a bit of a problem, but that's fine. Armor. Try to pull something else that matters. And do damage to this guy. So we can start hurting Seraph, because this is looking scary. Mm, maybe him being healthier is better. Yeah, we're gonna sharpen the crap out of him. We actually don't want to kill this guy, do we?
Do we then mid? Maybe we don't. This guy we have to kill. Oh, yeah, I guess we do. We want to vent mid, kill this guy, but keep this guy alive? That's going to be 30 extra damage a swing. I think this guy stays alive. To keep him alive, we got to make sure that we don't do... We can only do nine more damage, so we have to use our mana first. He'll die to spikes. How much spikes do we have? 12? Wait, Seraph is not going to remove his spikes again? T -t Temgal, thank you for the follow, man. Ooh. How do I? Okay. Does she remove his spikes again? No. Ah, oh, budge. So he will die no matter what then. Yeah, he'll die no matter what. Damn. Imp to blast the first attack. You're right. We could get fed. Ah, there's the play I'm looking for. There's the play I'm looking for. My boy. My boy. All right. Yeah, so we'll, we're going to... That's fine. We No, yeah, we, we switched this guy. Actually, like, I think we can still vent if we use all the mana, correct? If we use all the mana, this only hits for 10. So he'll be at 54. And then he'll kill Imp, and then we'll... No, he'll survive that way. Yeah, we can't vent. We can't vent. We can't bet. He won't die from five mana though. Yeah, yeah, hold on. We'll just won't bet. We won't bet. We won't. We'll vent here or something. No, we're fine. I don't know, man. This is going to be close. We might not even have to close to enough. I don't think this is 4,000 damage worthy. I don't think we have it. Yeah, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this guy died? How? It said we were only doing so much damage to him. How did he die? I missed it. Lightwing? Oh, so we did more DPS. Uh-oh, that's not good. If we did it, like, he would have hit for 100, 300, a swing. Maybe we screwed up. That might have costed us. Draw him two times. True, true, true. Did we play, did we play Spike? Fudge. No, we can, yeah, okay. We got to hope for the best here. So far, so good. Please, one more armor. One more armor. One more armor. One! All right, if we get the buff cards, it's still fine. No, we kill Imp again. We kill Imp again. No, we can kill Imp again and draw into him. Yeah, 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 we kill Imp again. Woo, come on, baby! 
Give me the streak! Please give me the damn armor. We probably still have it. I don't know, actually. Dude, it was such... I just needed... <laughs> we got a one out of three. <laughs> we can't do it again. We have no way to draw. This, this won't draw anything. It's very close. I'm not sure. I think we lose by a little bit. I think we lost by an armor. I'm not sure, dude. But we might be okay. Wait, we get a free first hit. We have a free first hit too. We might be okay. Oh. No, wait. Oh no. Yeah, we're one dip, one attack short, I think. We couldn't keep that guy alive. One extra attack. One extra attack. You know where we screwed up? You know where we screwed up? We pinged that guy. We pinged that guy. If that monster survived, our dude would have been doing over 100 damage. Uh, 300 damage every attack. I think that's where we screwed up. We pinged that dude, and I didn't even calculate that. Nah, we just misplayed. We just misplayed. That's all. Or we could have drew armor, so we had two outs. We had two outs there. Damn. Yeah, we missed the slight trigger. I thought I had it. I planned for it. I planned for it, but I pinged the back guy and I didn't realize it was gonna screw up all the calculations and we died. But the plan was to keep him alive and I screwed up, I didn't calculate that. Not only that, if we drew the regen, if we drew the armor card, we had a one out of three chance not to draw it. Um, we would have also won. So there's two different outs there that we didn't get. There's two different outs. Damn. But the point is, Hellhorn is a super, super, super powerful clan. <laughs> Yeah, like a regen card. Even a sharpen would have been enough. Agreed. There was a, there was a couple different outs. We just didn't get what we needed. I had two armor cards and one spike in there. And we drew spike twice. So it didn't help. And I can't believe that pinging that backline guy screwed it up for me. I, I wish I calculated that. Damn. That was a sick run. That was a really sick run. I can't complain. <sighs> Sharpening the spike boy would have gave him four extra thorns, but doing it on the back guy gives him 12 extra damage per hit per like turn. So if it was a if it was a difference of four damage or twelve damage, I think we always pick twelve.
It's 12 damage plus 4 attack. Mm. Hmm. Isn't that the same then on Hellhorn? Where he's getting the multi strike, and when he gets hit, he's getting the thorn procs. Hmm. You might be right. I'm not really sure. Because you would lose 25 HP and 90 damage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Killing that guy would have probably took like a swing, but then after that, he hits for 100 per swing. Uh, it would have definitely made up for the damage. That altercation was very long, so it would have definitely made up for the 90 damage plus some. So it would have definitely put us over, and we were very marginally under the kill, so I think it would have definitely worked. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, we would have made up for it. 